Hello and welcome to this section of the HP 50G Calculator Tutor. Uh, in this section we're just going to begin a tour of some of the core features and functions of the of the uh, functions that are accessible on the buttons of the calculator. So we're going to go through and uh, dive a little bit deeper getting you comfortable with using the everyday features and modes of the calculator. Now these are going to be in no particular order so I'm not really grouping them by importance. I just want to make sure and get through some of the most common and important things that you'll be using. The first one is I want to draw your attention to this button down here on the bottom of your calculator. It's the 1 over X button. And uh, basically that button, uh, if you envision X being something that you input into the calculator, you're taking the inverse of, the, of that number. So to give you an example of that, if we put 5 on the stack and then press this button, then what it will calculate is it will use the value on the stack in place of X and will calculate 1 -fifth and see it'll go ahead and put one-fifth on the stack. Now of course if you want the number associated with that instead of the fraction then just go over here uh, with the orange to number and it'll convert that to 0.2. So it's pretty straightforward if you put uh, 2 there and uh, hit the button here then it'll get one-half which you can obviously convert to 0.5 and the same thing works for negative numbers so if you do uh, let's do 0.25 uh, here and we'll make it negative so we put the number in first then we make it negative this this uh, button right here plus minus basically toggles the sign of whatever it is you've input in RPN mode remember I'm, I'm operating the calculator in RPN mode right now so let's make it negative 0.25 put it on the stack when we hit this button we'll be 1 over negative 0.25 and which is negative 4 so it's a handy button because a lot of times you are you are taking the inverse like that uh, we've already talked about negative positive. We've talked about how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide in RPN mode where you push the items onto the stack. Uh, 25 plus 36, then hit the operator button. So the plus would come last. Same would hold for uh, minus, multiplication, uh, and division. We talked about that pretty extensively. Now, next I want to turn your attention. Let me go ahead and clear the stack here. I want to turn your attention to these parentheses down here. So there's brackets up here that are used for, for something that we'll talk about later on. There's curly braces down here that's used for something we'll talk about later on. The parentheses are used in the, in the general way that you think of them being used in algebra. So they're, in general, they're used for uh, grouping, uh, grouping things together. Unfortunately, or not unfortunately, but, but in, in reality, when you're operating the calculator in RPN mode, you're not going to be using the parentheses that much because we don't type things on the command line in that fashion. For instance, if I go and put try to put a parentheses here right now to group something right I'm gonna see the parentheses and then I'll do 5 plus 2 well you see right there I get an invalid syntax because I'm that's sort of like something you would do in algebraic mode um, the way the way you would do that in algebraic mode if you had the calculator in algebraic mode or if you really wanted to do a quick thing uh, using parentheses like that is just uh, if you're in RPN mode there and you want to temporarily do a calculation in algebra mode just hit this little uh, quote right here it'll put a double quote there and basically you just at this point you can type whatever you want in there you could do 2 plus 5 and everything you're putting in there it's, it's going to evaluate as if it were in algebraic mode and you could do plus we can open up a set of parentheses in here um, let's do uh, negative 5 times you know 9 or something like that so the way the calculator will do this is it'll evaluate the inside of the parentheses first and then it'll start adding the numbers on the outside just like you would think of from algebra and it'll put that on the stack uh, sort of uh, trying to keep everything exact for you to actually evaluate it you can either press the eval button let me go ahead and hit undo here um, right here or you could just go hit the orange with the arrow to number right here, converting it to a number. So either way will actually evaluate that expression. But you can temporarily use parentheses inside of sort of the temporary algebraic mode. The other way to use parentheses when you're when you're using the calculator in RPN mode is when you're in the equation writer. The equation writer is perfectly legal to use your parentheses because when you think about it, the, the equation writer is kind of like an algebraic mode. You can type everything in and then dump it to the stack. So I can do, you know, 5 plus 3 and I can highlight these guys here 
and I can do divided by, you know, uh, negative seven or something. And then I can go on the outside of the parentheses and multiply by eight. So this is, when you think about it, the equation writer is kind of like a glorified algebraic mode where you can just make, go crazy and make it look beautiful. And when you go hit enter here, it'll put that on the stack. And then to evaluate it, I can hit eval. If I want to convert to number, I can go convert to number and it'll actually make a decimal out of it. So when you're operating the calculator in RPN mode, which is how I always recommend to operate the HP 50. The parentheses button is pretty much only going to be used when you're in the equation writer or if you do a temporary calculation on the stack like that. If you try to use the, the parentheses uh, button just normally like this, you try to do some normal calculation, it's just not going to work because everything on the stack environment, it should be pushed onto the stack and then operated with. Okay. Now, we've talked about uh, the inverse function. We've talked about how to use, in general, the parentheses to, to group your expressions. Uh, next, I want to talk about the absolute value function because it's pretty easy just to kind of uh, talk about here. It's a button right here on the calculator in white, ABS, absolute value. Um, you know, to be honest with you, I don't think you'll be using it that much, but the way it works is if you wanted to put 5.224789, make it negative, push it onto the stack, that's a negative number. And if you hit white button, uh, absolute value, it'll take the last item on the stack and, con and, and take its absolute value. If you, obviously, if you put a positive number on the stack and then take its absolute value, you're going to get the same thing back. So it operates just like the mathematical absolute value. Uh, not something you're going to be using too much. You, you can use it uh, to graph if you, if you want. When we get into graphing later on, you can use that to graph uh, uh, equations that involve absolute value. But for now, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of a little bit beyond the scope of where I want to go. But that's where it is right there. So here we've talked about the inverse function. We've talked about parentheses. We've talked about the, uh, the absolute value. I want to go ahead and close the section off here. As we go on the next several sections, we'll continue diving into a few more of these features of, of uh, the, the functions on the buttons of the calculator, and then we'll be diving into the menu structure to get to the more advanced functions.